Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. Today we're taking a look at the Vero Axon, courtesy of Don Farmer at DNK Knives. And after watching today, if you decide you'd like it, you can get it at his website using Apex 10 for an extra 10% off. The Axon weighs 3.7 ounces without the sheath and 4.8 width. It features a G10 handle, M390 blade, I believe it's made in China, and it has the, the sheath that can be carried in the front pocket, 4.9 ounces. So the Vero has a three and a half millimeter blade stock or 140 thousandths has a four inch blade with a three and three quarters inch cutting edge and it's seven and three quarters inches overall. Here you can see the Vero sandwich in between a Hinder XM18 3.5 and another $300 fixed blade, a Jet Hornbeat Constrictor. Okay, so since this is a front pocket carry, it is a very thin profile. It, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room in your pocket uh, as far as width, bul bul like bulging out from your pocket. Um, a lot of people do enjoy this as an EDC fixed blade because of its size. <clears throat> um, we haven't carried it. No, so no, like, it's not, not ours, so we're not, you know, we're, we don't want to carry it and mess it up or anything. Um, it does belong to Don Farmer, like we, we had said earlier. Um, I, I, I could see that it's a very useful uh, blade shape, blade stock yes. for utility, you know, using uh, or, or utility task, I guess you would say. Similar to what I carry often. Yeah, like, it's worn cliffy. Yep. <laughs> it's about the same size. Yeah. My my twinsies there. It's a it's a it feels like it's a really nice knife, you know, like it feels good in hand, you know, it There's no hot spots. No. It's, it's got the smaller jimping that, that I appreciate. Let me see one of those pieces of paper. Let's pick it up and Oh yeah. Nice There's on nothing wrong with the edge that's on there. It's it's a slicey little bastard. Mm -hmm. you know? I I do like it. I'm uh I'm sure you know like we we've got on Vero's website. Didn't do a whole lot of shopping around because I don't think these are like mass produced. Um, I may be wrong about that. I had I, I see the number on the spine it says number two forty. So I'll pick up. So I'm assuming these are like limited runs. I do know that they, you know, they offer them in a, a, a wide array of different handle colors and materials. You know, like I think you can get carbon fiber. I know you can get micarta. I watched Javon's video on it. He was super excited when he got it. You know, like because he he really likes the Vero Axon uh, folder. Folder. Uh, Ken Faulkner really likes the Vero Axon folder as well. Um, I'm not sure if all of them cost the same amount. I just whenever I got on Vero's website, I saw it's two ninety five. Um, my, my, my personal take on that is, uh, it's, uh, probably a little north of what I'd be willing to spend on a, on a, on a fixed blade for, uh, you know, what you get, but everybody's different, right? Yeah. And I guess <clears throat> depending on your need, like if you, you're, you're needing an EDC size, mm -hmm. there's not a whole lot of no. fit in your pocket right. uh, fixed blades. And, and I do like the sheath. The <clears throat> sheath is, uh, there's nothing to complain about with the sheath, man. It's got that nice blue stitching, uh, least top grain leather, maybe full grain leather uh, sheath or scabbard. Well, yeah. And a nice, nice little clip, man. And I, I did put it in my pocket. It fits just fine. And I can, I definitely see the allure of, of being able to carry something this size. Um, so that aspect does yeah. give it some, some value that, that's harder to find than a fixed yeah. blade. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a value that's not seen as much 
in the fixed blade realm and I, I definitely appreciate that it's it is it's, it's very comfortable man it, the jimping on it it it's like that small jimping that you like mm-hmm. it's not too aggressive but you know with bare hands it's going to work for sure uh with gloves if you, you know if you got some good fitting gloves then that, that jimping will also work but it's not it's you know it's, it's not the huge yeah jimping that that uh we uh we see on some guys now i don't have anything in front of me that it's just screaming right for attention but i i like it i do i like it 300 bucks for a fixed blade I, 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 I the only thing that i think i think i would i would probably spend 175 on this knife yeah that's that's me that's me that, like it's personally personally yeah. yeah i'm not a vero i know there's a lot of people that love the brand you know they're shouting at me uh you know dude i get it man i don't have enough experience with the brand to be a fanboy uh i don't chase after products when they're not like readily available you know like yeah. I, I come into contact with brands uh and and i decide whether they're worth chasing after or not after i've come in contact with them you yeah. know and i'm i'm not a vero expert you know so like don't take my <laughs> don't take my opinion to heart or anything but that's a I, I do like the knife. I think at three hundred bucks, <clears throat> it's just a little bit over what I would be willing to spend on a. Uh, on, 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 I mean, it's it's got good materials. Yeah, I was looking to see. I, I, like I seen the lines, I was wondering it, if you it, could feel it, but you it, like it's more of a superficial. Superficial, is like, yeah. It kind of does have that the what she's talking about. Like it kind of looks like a carbon fiber. Yeah. It, but it, those lines are just up here. Yep. And they're like it's not it's not really textured. You're you're not you can't really feel that. It's it's more of a superficial just a appearance. Two pin construction or two screw construction. It's full tang. Yeah, so. full tang. And three ninety. It's I mean there's just probably not a lot to complain about here, man. You know, I like it. I do I do. I like it. I just uh just not sure at that price point. Yeah. If it would be something we would personally I would consider the constrictor to be uh, pretty close in in size. It's not exactly the the you know the same size, and, and it definitely doesn't have the same sheath. You know, like this is a leather Kydex com, you know combination sheath. Uh, but and and I hate to be a versus type of guy, but this you know this this knife it cost three hundred dollars. It was made by one person uh, in a shop in Tennessee, uh, it, it, and um, it's you know Tanto blade uh that's cpmd2 like you know so the materials here are not going to be as um high-end steel as the as the vero uh, to some people right uh, i i prefer cpmd2 over m390 myself but i don't have a problem with m390 especially if the m390 is done right you know if i get m390 from riot i know i'm getting a decent m390 but m390 and 20 cv are the same steel carpenter seat uh what is it uh 204, well, no, what is it? CTS 204P? I, I don't know, man. It was one of those. But um, all the same steel. Some of them are done really well. Some of them are done very poorly. And I don't know anything about Vero. You right. know, like, so I can't I can't give an opinion on that. Can't attest but to their, their M390. I know exactly how these, these and I was rate traded myself because I've, I've done, the, done the shop tour, you know? Right. So, uh, but anyway, uh, like, like I said, not trying to make a versus video out of it. But that's uh, uh, like from our our standpoint and what we've seen for the the, the price range, that's where where we're stand where we're standing. Like that's we, where my money would go. Right. You know, like you know, like uh, personally, you know, like I'm not, and I'm not trying to tell you where to spend your money. My money would go to uh, something that's made made domestic, and uh, you know, it's it's uh, there's only one of those knives because yeah. it's custom knife. But that's uh, so like I'm I'm what I'm seeing here in short is a production knife. Uh, like I understand that they're not extremely available, but it's what I'm seeing it is, you know, like a, a production knife that's advertised at a small custom knife maker's price point. Yeah. You know, anyway, uh, that's, that's my take on it. I like it. I think I'd like it better at a lower price point. I couldn't find any other price points to compare it to. Um, uh, I didn't see it available anywhere else. I didn't go shopping. Like, I didn't search hard. I just got on Vero's website. 
So they said the base MSRP is two ninety five. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else we got to say about it? Overall uniqueness uh, for for carryability of a fixed blade, uh, I, I give it give it props. I like the I like the I love the way the sheets fit. Yeah, in it's the, nice and in the handle. It, I mean, I'm sorry, in the in the, in the, the knife fits the knife in the fits sheet. in the sheath. Yeah, <laughs> it it fits great. There ain't no shaking it out. That. Nice slim fit. So like that, all that's still gonna stay nice and slim in the mm. pocket. It, it doesn't add a bunch of bulk. I, I don't I don't see a lot of knives. Even if I love the knife, sometimes you get a sheath that's like, what the hell? Were they thinking? Are we? How the hell are we supposed to carry this knife? That's not a problem here, and I respect the absolute shit out of that. Big ups. We know exactly how we're supposed to carry this product. Um, we there's no, there's no confusion. There's no trying to figure it out. This uh this the sheath matches this knife. It's elegant. It's, it's slim smooth, lined, slim, yeah. and it's ready to go, man, right out of the box. So. Thanks, Mr. Don Farmer, for sending it in. Like Courtney said at the, earlier in the video, if you fall in love with this knife and you want it, it may be available on DNK Knives. Uh, if it is available on DNK Knives, or if you buy anything else from DNK Knives, use, use the coupon code APEX10. That's A P E X 10 for an additional 10% discount and free shipping, free shipping over $50. Oh, uh, go ahead. You made this far in the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, leave a comment. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you on the flip side.